fighting, and um, yeah. All right, I, so here we go into the first cool. match. Uh, Yoshi and Samus, it should be. Yeah. Shucklemon. Yeah. I like the name. Yeah, we got Yoshi, got the good uh, light blue color scheme going yeah. on here. Um, but yeah, where are we where are we going? I didn't get to see the stage. I did not get to see. I'm I'm sure it's a uh, stadium, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, that Samus skin's the Dark Samus skin's Ooh. pretty clean. I love that. Definitely, I like the way Dark Samus moves more than uh, regular Samus. I feel like the the charge shot is also uh, slightly better because like she kind of leans back more when she charges it, so it can yeah. catch rolls a lot easier. I've heard a lot of people prefer uh, Dark Samus over Samus just for smaller things like that. Right. But yeah, starting off with the fully 28% uh, off the charge shot there. Man, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, Rix has to be super careful when uh, approaching Samus on shield. You know, a lot of Yoshis like to approach with that uh, bear or like Nair or you know fair and try to cross up shield, but because Samus is up B, just hits on both sides and Ooh, just like that. that yeah. Man, that's gonna be cool. that's yeah, that's gonna take the stock pretty <laughs> solid there at that percent. Um, looks like Rix is just having a hard time doing any damage here. Okay, we got the. F tilt into up tilt there. To up air was pretty nice, pretty clean. You like to see that coming out from Yoshi. Typical combos there. Right. Um, and yeah, it, it, yo, this um, Yoshi here needs to be a little careful how he's kind of just jumping in with his aerial. Obviously, you know, Yoshi's Nair is great, but it's still unsafe to kind of just jump on somebody with it. So um, kind of getting some percent here, but looks like Shuckle's really holding down the neutral. Right. You know, and the, that's the unfortunate thing about Yoshi. Yoshi is usually like, very dominant in the air, but no, Samus is just as easily, oh, that's a really bad miss input. She just oh air dodged off stage and yeah. then got fared for it. You know, I'm, I'm sure he tried to uh, zero off stage instead of trying to uh, hit the Yoshi out of the double jump, potentially kip him, but. I think he didn't expect him to just fare, to be honest, off stage there uh, when he was that low. Uh, obviously, we like to see that from Yoshi's all the time, but I don't think he expected that at all. Because right. Rix wasn't really uh, doing any off stage play yet. So um, he's actually respecting Shuckle a lot here. Oh my god, okay, going for that fair again. Um, he looks like a little scared to go in. He's kind of just shore hopping here, landing with aerials or attacks that are a little unsafe, a little laggy here. All right. And so. he definitely, like, Samus has a lot of good out shield options to extend up a, a B, you know, that really quick Nair and Bear can come out super quick, and those kill too. So Yoshi has to definitely be careful about how he approaches a shield on this matchup. But here we go with the edge guard and using the dash attack to quickly punish the tether. And here's the edge guard with the Nair, but no, Samus just is going to be able to float her way back to stage using the bombs. Yeah, I like that he's, it's interesting because he is utilizing the eggs a lot when he's off stage, but when he's center stage in neutral, I don't see him using the eggs as much. Um, and I feel like it's a big important part of Yoshi's neutral too. You, the egg can bounce and we're kind of not seeing him utilize it as much unless he's off stage. So, um, I mean, Rick's actually kind of bringing it back now. It's pretty even at this percent. And he w Chuck was ahead of whole stock here. I don't even know what happened. My goodness. I mean, yet again, Shuckle is being like, okay, you caught the lead for like a quick second. Let me take it back, which is a quick short shot. But yet again, you see Shuckle oh, just man. sitting this content, just like looking back, uh, charging charge shot and then forcing Yoshi to kind of approach. And do you think, no, he still kept the jump. Yeah. But there's the jump taken away and that should be it. I like that he was trying to keep him out with F tilt there as well. The fair is also, also another great option that Samus has. There's a lot of percent and it had a lot of knockback there. He was definitely, in uh, Rix was in a situation just off stage where he did not want to be Yoshi has super armor, but it kind of doesn't matter if uh, Samus is getting those proper uh, edge guards. Yeah. And the other thing is that, like, you know, a lot of Yoshis, they want to, like, kind of zone in and, like, jump in and, like, kind of cross up shield. But with fair, Samus' uh, disjointed fair, it's so long lasting. It comes out for a long time. It's a really nice anti air approach option. So. Yet again, Yoshi and uh, Risk is going to have a lot of struggle coming into the matchup, but looks like we're going into a double switch. This is going to be interesting. So, yeah. Lucina and Palutena. Now, this is going to be a completely different matchup than before. While both characters were primarily floaty in the air, now these characters are going to be heavily rushed down using their aerial combos to kind of combo into a quick uh, little one two hits. Yeah, it was interesting that we saw a switch from Shuffle, too. I feel like his, uh, Dark Samus is doing a pretty good job, um, and he was. Actually, he he brought it back even when he was like winning, and then he was losing, and then he still managed to bring it back, and he was doing uh, really like safe options and stuff. But I mean, yeah, well, why not bring out Palutena? She's a freaking top three character oh, yeah. in the game. She's great. 
And yet again, top three character, but it seems to be losing in the matchup so far. You know, I'm wondering if Rix is not as polished with the Palutena as he is with his uh, Samus, or sorry, uh, Shuckle. Okay, here. nice. Nair? Ooh, trying going a little bit bold with that up smash right there, but you know, Rix just dashing out of the way and punishing it. But yet again, you know, I feel like Rix is just trying to find that one little edge guard. Is that it? Wow. Yes, that will be it with the Dancing Blade. Yeah, Dancing Blade, that killed at 90%. Um, or was he at 100? He was or at was like that? 95 when he okay, got yeah, hit. Yeah, it was like 95, but man, yeah, that killed <laughs> off the ledger. That's super strong. And so far, yeah, it looks like the character pit, pit uh, counter pick is working in his favor here. And again, you know, you see Shoko kind of like trying to take it back, take it a little bit slower so that she doesn't run into a whole lot of uh, or, uh, Lucina's uh, aerials. But yet again, Palutena a little bit slower in the air and not as many disjoints as uh, Lucina. But Scary that situation. invincible back air yeah. will clean out that stock. Yeah, I knew we were going to see Shuckle looking for a lot of short hop back airs there to close out that stock. It's such a strong move, and it's a great killing option. Wow, going for the down air spike. What is happening off stage? Oh, but Rix answering back with that up B, you know, just tapping Palutena before she could recover and just put her into an awful <laughs> position to uh, make it back to stage. And now they trade oh, stocks. Oh, man, yeah. I don't know about the trades there. Uh, <laughs> That, yeah, that was I mean, crazy. Shuckle did everything right, and then Ricks kind of got lucky with that up B just being so quick enough to interrupt Shuckle before his up B could you know, te teleport away. Yeah. Man, yeah, listen to his up B too. Spice is a really good option. Super good. All right, but we are seeing Shuckle off stage here. Looks like he held neutral. Ricks didn't get that ledge guard there. There you go, quick nair to put him in off a stage. Scary situation. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Shuckle's trying to force an option that's just not going to be working against Lucina. You know, she can just mm. feel free to just whisk punish as much as she likes against uh, Palutena. Interesting that he went for back throw instead of, like, a down throw. I think he just wanted stage positioning, you know. I mean, down throw probably wouldn't have done anything into a combo, but... I feel like it would have wrecked percent. I don't know. I, I guess the whole... He didn't really, like, capitalize off of the back throw. Right. So that was a little interesting. Um, going for the forward throw and some back air there. Oh, got the double jump. And there it is. There's the double jump. So now, oh, unfortunately, reading the wrong way, he was going to air dodge. And so that will not be able to capitalize as much as he would like to have seen on that. Okay, a shuckle sitting at 142%. Ooh, Ooh, interesting. You know, just barely avoiding that explosive line, but gets hit by the dash attack instead. But here's the jab, sending him off stage. I wonder if he's going to go deep. Oh, the explosive flame. Oh, my God. No. I feel like Shuckle should have went Oh, up no. Wow. No. Oh, okay. my God. Just that anti air up tilt. No, Shuckle. Shuckle really stole that game the last, like, five, like, interactions. Yeah, I feel like Rick's had that. Um